All right, here I go again on my own. Seven days have passed, which gives you another solo overnight in the woods. So here we are, we're deep in the pine trees. I wanna get out here. I promise you guys something different. And it's gonna be a lot of work for this overnighter, but we're used to that by now. Let's get out here, get set up, and talk about a few concerns, and then get her done. Okay, so here we are, we're back at the pine trees. The three pines I'm interested in form a perfect triangle. This one, this one, and the one right behind me. Now the ground that I'm actually sitting on here is sloped. It slopes pretty bad, not a 45 degree angle, but close, and it heads down towards the camera. So sheltering right here, laying on the ground, probably not a good idea. So I wanna get off the ground. And I'm thinking we build a suspended or floating cabin slash fort in the woods okay so comment slash concern number one corporal's corner is staged there's no way you can find wood that straight out in the field he's importing it probably walking four miles to collect that stuff hmm concern number two i see different types of wood he's importing it he's backing his truck in and dropping it off Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get over here and work on our floating fort slash cabin in the woods. Okay, so all we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and follow our creases and we have a loop at the end down here as well as the top. So I'm place my logs right there and we're going to create our bottom framework. So following the creases again, there's one in the front, there's one right here, and one right there. So three more logs and we have the basic design for our frame. One, two, three, four, and we'll go one more Okay, so far so good, we're looking outstanding. The frame's complete. Now here's what I'm thinking with the front and the back. I wanna go ahead and add a sacrificial piece right underneath here, as well as here. And then take my auger bit that we used in our last video for our do-it-yourself rocket stove. I wanna find the center and bore a hole right here, as well as the back. Then find a couple of Y branches, taper them down, place them into those holes. 
the two Y branches will face each other so I can add a ridge pole for my tarp. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Easy enough. Now I'm looking at getting two more holes at each corner on our sacrificial piece. Right here, and right here. Now we're calling it our sacrificial piece because I don't want to be drilling holes into my frame. It could actually weaken it, and the more load that I apply to this, my body weight, more sticks, debris, a tarp. It could actually twist that frame and compromise it. So we're gonna go ahead and drill into the sacrificial piece. That way, I'm on easy street. So for our two tie outs on the front, we tied a simple bowlin and then passed it around our tree and then threw itself. It's called a running bowlin. Then lastly, for our front and back tie outs on our frame, all we did was we went ahead and tied an improvised trucker's hitch or a rope tackle.
Okay, so here we go. Put the tarp on here temporarily so I can take a look at it. And here's my dilemma. I have an engineering issue. I wanted to build walls up on here and put in two sticks and then kind of sandwich them together like on a windscreen in front of a fire. But I'm wondering about this mule tape. It's rated for 1,800 pounds and we've tied loops in it and knots, so we're probably reduced it by half on each corner. So I'm thinking here with the frame, I went with pine and poplar, so it's very lightweight, but that's gotta be three or 400 pounds. And then you throw my 235, 40-ish bacon greasy ASS inside here, we're maxing this bad boy out. So to reduce weight, I'm thinking about utilizing one of these holes on the outside with Y branches about this level right here on both sides with a ridge pole. So we're still going to get that shape and it will create a wall shape right here. And I can just tuck this tarp underneath it and I think we'll be good to go. Snoopy house in the woods. Okay, so I'm thinking windscreen, fire, and chow. All right, so it's springtime and I'm getting a lot of requests for bow drill. Now I have several bow drill videos ranging from the West Coast all the way back over here to the East Coast. Just Google or YouTube search Corporal's Corner bow drill. I'm sure you're gonna find five or six videos. But if you want a quick down and dirty, do it yourself. I'll go ahead and kick that off today. I got a piece of dry poplar and fat wood.
Okay, so from here all we're going to do is take our indentation, our spindle or drill, and we're going to seat or burn in that spindle into our fireboard. And the last thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and carve off the black off your spindle. Think of it as it becoming fire hardened. You want that fresh material so that it eats away from the spindle and not your board. The dust is going to collect in that notch, drop into an ember catch, and you're going to transfer that to your bird's nest. Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Outstanding AF. All right, so something different. Normally I go with the old ribeye, but I saw this lonely steak, last one on the shelf, just sitting there all by its lonesome, and didn't have any friends, so I thought, you know what? It's been eons since I had a T-bone steak. So the bacon is just a side dish. I needed the bacon grease, but you know, bacon's bacon. Mm. Applewood smoked. So here we go. The old T-bone. Oh man, that spot right there is heavenly. Oh my God, look at that fat. Oh, yeah, like I said, 
been eons since I had a T-bone steak, but I'm happy with this. Get you all in a few. Mm. Let's go ahead and change this up a little bit. Normally I say my thank you at the end. I'm gonna say thank you right now. The views on the past four or five videos, six or seven videos have been outstanding. I mean, it's through the roof. I've never seen views like this. And I've never seen my channel grow this fast. And it's because of you all. And someone's gonna say, well, you're making the videos. Well, yeah, I am making the videos, but I know several people who make videos and they don't be seen or heard. They're not being seen and YouTube's not circulating them. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for everything you're doing. I can't say it enough, I can't stress it enough. Without you guys, I'm nothing. I talk a lot of crap out here, I joke around, and we come out here and do, you know, builds and bushcraft and survival skills, but at the end of the day, you guys decide whether or not to watch it. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's been a long, hard 13 years. Um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for everything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos to the end, share them with everybody everywhere, and get a hold of YouTube's recommended playlist, find my next video, and play that bad boy. Um, you guys are doing it. You're showing YouTube that you want Corporal's Corner, and I'm going to be here for you guys. This is just a taste. We're only almost four months into the new year, and uh, I got at least three or four more videos planned, and then we'll talk about the rest of them, but they're all right here, and just waiting to get out. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. Got enough room for two in there and uh, should be comfy. So we're downhill right now and that fire is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The heat is actually coming up here. I can feel it right here. So I know inside that tent it's going to be toasted warm all night. Just load this bad boy up with wood and then that heat's going to travel. It's also going underneath the shelter. I can feel it right here. So we'll talk about this shelter tomorrow during coffee time, but truth be told, it's a joint venture between me and the OG of YouTube, Dave Canterbury. So we kind of brainstormed on this. He did something similar on his TV show, Dirty Rotten Survival, and I kind of elaborated on it. But I'm happy. This is gonna be nice. A floating shelter slash tent in the woods. All right, here we go. Solo overnight, building a floating shelter in the woods. I'm on my side right now, and there's plenty of room. My feet can move around freely without bumping the sides, and you could probably put two people in here smashed up or crunched up, but um, one's good to go, and I'm happy. Got room for my gear, and I have to get used to this motion, though. It's like being on ship, but tell you what, um, I am happy. And... That fire right there is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The heat's transferring up into here, and I can feel it on my face. So, worked out well. Catch you all in the morning. Zero early AF. You know, it just occurred to me, that's a long drop for an overnighter.
Viking Coffee. Outstanding. Thank you. Let's talk about this shelter. What did we do here? Well, we created a simple raft style platform and then suspended it between our three trees using a clove hitch, running bowlins, followed by a trucker's hitch at all four corners. And from there, we went ahead and added our Y branches. And finally, our bedding along with our 8x8 oil skin coal cracker bushcraft tarp. So um, the fire was down here. This is a shelter that you could do in or on uneven ground. The heat wants to rise, so the heat came right up inside here. And I was warm and toasty. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. And I'm happy with that. Something new, something different. Um, goes right along the lines with the badassery for 2021. Get ready. And there you go. Solo overnight building a floating shelter in the woods. It can't get much better than that. Yes, it can. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. As always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Wait for it. And the bedding is still there.